Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Suikoden 2 walkthrough. Alright, so let's start off <laughs> commonly, uh, or a common start there in the castle. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Oh yes. Okay, so I think this kind of kicks off the, the events uh, prior to... Uh, retaking Green Hill. So I think that is the the next stop. <laughs> okay, so um, here Apple says something about Uber being the the one kind of over over overseeing Green Hill, I guess, for the time being. And um, <laughs> sort of, I don't know if I want to say sort of lazy storytelling, but she even says there's something about it. He just appeared out of nowhere <laughs> to play some major role in whatever, some battles or whatever. Again, I don't know, just whatever. It is it is what it is. Um, <laughs> it's not the first RPG that's ever had some random person appear out of nowhere. Um, okay, so, oh, did I, did I tell him that we weren't ready yet? I think that must have been the case, yeah. I think if you tell him that we're ready to go to Green Hill, like, I think Teresa joins the, the, um, the convoy. <laughs> Alright, so Sheena's gonna go visit some ladies, apparently. Um, I think this this part right here is actually I think you can actually skip this, but um, I don't remember if it's important to do that or not. I should say I, I mean we want to see this. I'm sure I don't I don't remember what if any relevance this has though. Um, what we're looking for here I think is Chaco on a on the stairwell. Um, <laughs> Sierra doing in here? Everyone out, please. <laughs> She's like taking over uh, Klaus and Kaiba's room there, I guess. All right, here's Chaco. Huh, wow, okay. That's not dialogue that I would have expected from Chaco, but you know what else? Uh, again, I don't know if that uh, that's that's got any relevance these these little events here, but oh yeah, yeah. Come to think of it, it probably does. I think actually we need to do this. Uh, so this is Lucia. Now I don't know if this is supposed to be the same chick from Suikoden Three or not, but uh, it sure looks like her. Um, and she's, uh, the mother of Hugo. But again, I, I, I don't even know if this is supposed to be the same person, to be completely honest. Um, it, it seems like it would be a heck of a coincidence. Again, there, she looks very similar, and then on top of that, I think she's from the Grasslands or something like that, and that's, again, if I'm remembering things correctly from Suikoden 3, um, that's where... Uh, Hugo and Lucia are from. So, again, um, this child, that was wrong. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, here to, you know, obviously attempt to assassinate the main character. Now, I don't know if this, um, uh, this choice means anything. Probably not. Um, but I think you've got the, uh, you have the choice to it looks like, yeah, let her go or take her to the prison. And again, I don't actually know if it matters what you pick here. Um, I just chose to let her go. I was like, eh, whatever. <coughs> Lucky little sneak. My only goal is your head. Oh, cold-blooded. Okay. 
Alright, now we get guards. Apparently it takes an assassination attempt to get some guards here. Um, I think actually the next step is to... Uh, go back to the, the war room. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we'll see here. Yeah, looks like I'm just gonna... Uh, fill up the party here. Uh, I know at this point, though, I'm gonna wanna get... Uh, McDole, so I don't, I don't know uh, how much good this is really going to do me right now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm guessing at this point I'll go grab um, McDole off camera. Yeah, then I've got a <laughs> little cut in the video there. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Let's see what's next here. I still feel like we need to head back to the, um, the war room just to kind of kick these events off, but um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I've got some recruiting to do or something too. We'll see here. Just trying to think of who would be or why I would come here again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yes. Okay, so we do have to uh, recruit some people here. So, um, I think actually it would have been smarter to go to, uh, oh, what is it? It's Tiger Mouth Village, and then what is it? Is it Drake? Drake Mouth? I can't remember the other one. Um, it, it actually might have been better to teleport there first. I think it's technically a little bit closer, but, oh, well. A couple extra fights here and there isn't going to kill us. Okay. Alright, so here's Georg. Is this supposed to be George? I don't know. Anyways. Um, this dude's a beast. Uh, and I think he's actually a, a leader of, um, like, a war unit or whatever you want to call him. So we'll have another unit, thanks to him. And uh, if I remember right, he's pretty brutal in in the war battles too. I don't remember exactly what skills he's got. I'm gonna go in on a limb and say critical. But I'm not 100% sure on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think he comes equipped with a um, a killer rune too. Um, I'll be honest though. I, I actually never even used him. Um, but that's not to say that he's not good. I just didn't use him. Uh, my impression was he's pretty amazing. Um, anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm guessing I'm just trying to get back to the, um, the world map here to teleport out. Yeah. Oh, and then I missed. Did I? Did I already have McDole with? Oh, awesome. Okay, South Window next. Um, I'm gonna guess this is a uh, recruiting Gentetsu, uh, the priest over here. We'll see though. Yep, here we are. Tell me your troubles. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. All right, so we can finally, finally recruit him. All right, so the idea here. Oh, and I did get McDowell earlier. 
Uh, the idea here is to have, I think it's more than 400 strength between all of your characters in your party. Uh, and you win his strength test or whatever. So. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. <coughs> so don't take a bunch of, like, you know, pure casters or something with you. Um, Gantetsu starts out there, as you notice there, with the, uh, the resurrection rune. Um, I'll be honest, I, I never used him either. I don't, uh, I don't particularly find him impressive, so. Um, here I just had to force out Valyria for the time being to get him in there. Again, I don't, I don't know why they do that. It's really annoying that, um, you know, sometimes you can just send characters back to your castle when you recruit them, and sometimes they just force their way into your group. Again, I don't know why that's the case. It's really dumb. But, whatever. Okay, so back in uh, uh I'm gonna assume I want to try to get uh, uh, and I forget the name of this guy, but um, we're still too early, I think. So this is the guy where um, you have to have your you have to have someone in your party with a weapon that's like I think level 15 or higher, which um, McDole right now does have a level 15 weapon, but. Um, problem is, I think we, we're just not, we, or we haven't recruited enough people quite yet. I think it requires like a, I don't know, castle level four or something, and I think that's when you've recruited uh, like a hundred some characters. Yeah, Genshu. Yep, so still not able to get him. I know I just, you know, randomly checked in here a couple of times throughout the game. I should say throughout the, the latter parts of the game, but... Uh, again, unfortunately, uh, we just haven't recruited enough characters yet. All right, anyways. Back to Cuscus. Probably actually wouldn't have been a too bad uh, idea there to stop in at the blacksmith. You know, that, that blacksmith here in, in Cuscos actually is usually kind of ahead of the times uh, when it comes to sharpening weapons. Although, I believe there's a blacksmith in Tinto that might have him beat for the time being. But, uh, alright, let's get rid of again, Ted, so I don't want to use this guy. Get out of here. Um, okay. Yeah, I think right now my choice is either like Valyria. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right, we're gonna try to gonna try to recruit Simone's buddy. Um, I vaguely remember having some issues here, uh, getting this guy recruited too, and I'm not I'm not actually sure why. Oh, where are we going? That was weird. All right, yeah. So it's act to me. I mean, completely honest here, it's looking like a, the majority of this video is recruiting characters. So um, I'm assuming that means we need to go to Redot. Yeah. All right. So Simone's Simone's buddy is in Redot now. Again, I'm not sure what made uh, his friend pop up over here. Um, uh, maybe it was just uh, enough characters. I'm not sure, but. I think right now he wasn't quite here yet. So normally he's down here. Yeah, he should be right around in here. So I don't know why he's not here quite yet. Um, again, I, I don't know if it's random that he when he shows up here. You know, so like I don't know if I would have like left and come back a couple of times and just kept checking, um, or if or if indeed I just needed to to uh, recruit someone else or something, but. Um, the idea is as long as you've got Simone in your party and uh, you're kind of like at the appropriate time, you can recruit him. I can't remember his name. We'll uh, 
obviously recruit him eventually here, but what am I doing? Oh, okay. Because I was checking in at the, um... Oh, okay, so maybe we need to do the whole Green Hill mission first. Uh, before we recruit Simone's buddy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, so, um, for this part, I actually just did the whole stay here. Um, I don't remember what actually happens when you do the, you know, if you join one of the other groups. But, um, <laughs> it, it might have just been, like, a you know an actual war battle, which I kind of wish I would have done at this point. But now, uh, basically how this kind of plays out is if you decide to stay here you just wait here and um yeah these reports come in and um i mean you don't have to do anything uh i think i shouldn't say that there's a couple of uh dialogue options and um i think you just kind of show restraint and everything will be fine we'll see though um again it's gonna kind of play out in front of us now Two, 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 and it's kind of annoying because you just have to wait right here. Again, I kind of wish I would have actually, um, you know, gone out and joined one of the groups or something, but, you know, I didn't, so. My bad. Only from me, support appears to be led by King Joey. All right, so don't pursue too far. We've got to save time. Um, that's what you're going to want to uh, pick there. This is this is pretty boring, <laughs> but I've brought this upon myself. Any day now, buddy. Um. So again, now here we here's our next one. Uh, um, I think this is again just be mindful. So again, it's. I think generally what you want to do here is just make sure you're picking the uh, the more restrained options, and you'll be fine. And apart from General Hauser's unit, I would just. Don't call the enemies bluff. All right, Lord Shu. Oh, Uber. to the end here. Hopefully. Cuz bored. <laughs> Elder appears to have drifted off. Alright. So big win there. Oh, jeez. 
Still have to wait. But I want in on the action. army has withdrawn. All right. Good deal. All right, and so here we are at the gates of Green Hill. <coughs> Secret passage. Yeah. I mean, all right, so it should be pretty obvious. I mean, we already took this passage, so we're just going to use it again. Which now, I don't know. Again, I'm going to say it's kind of strange. This kind of feels a bit like the whole Tinto and going through the mines business where, frankly, the enemy knows about these tunnels. So, why they wouldn't have them better guarded is kind of beyond me, but whatever. Now, if you noticed here, once again, McDole got kicked out of my group, so I'm going to have to go back to get him, which I will do here in a bit. Um, luckily, it appears I've done that off-screen, so, you know, we're not going to be forced to watch me go all the way back to get him again. But, um... Alright, looks like we've got a pretty... pretty decent party, though, set up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it looks good, for the time being, anyway. Um, this this actually is a good time, though, to go and, uh, and grab McDole, because um, there's just a, there's a lot of fighting from here uh, on, so... Uh, and there's a, actually a couple of items that we're going to want to get, too. Uh, I think these Do-Re-Mi elves have one of the recipes... Um, I know I've got some footage of me actually obtaining that. Um, and I, again, I, I can't remember if it's... Uh, like, I want, I'm going to take a stab and say it's recipe 34, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So, um, these Do-Re-Mi elves, you know, again, much like the enemies throughout this game, um, these are not the same ones, or I should say they don't have the same drop table that the ones do in the... Um, I think it's the Green Hill Matilda Path. So, <clears throat> keep in mind these ones are a little bit different, and again, you know, if you're trying to trying to get that recipe, you're going to need to get it now. Um, I want to say that I'm not 100% sure if once the events here in Green Hill are over, if you can get back here. So, that would be my concern. Again, I'm just not 100% sure on whether or not you can kind of go through here again. If you can, you know, no big deal. Take all the time you want to try to get uh, the drops if you want to do that. Otherwise, um, you know, again, I'm, I just, I'm just not sure on whether or not you can get back here. You know, generally, I think a good idea with this game is to not count on that. So, um, you know, there's that, and you've been warned. But, um... Yeah, it looks like I've got just a little bit of time left here, and it looks like I've got just a snippet here of uh, me obtaining uh, the recipe. Um, I think there's another... that I think that's the Grand Holly there. I think that drops a seed potato, too, so I'll end up having some footage of me obtaining that as well. But um, at this point, I just ran out and got McDole, and then I decided to come back, so that's why you see this little bit of cut. And then, yeah, there's the recipe 34. So, um, the next video will be, uh, again, like I said, obtaining the, I think it's the seed potato from this area. So, as always, hope this guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.